Sagittarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus Signs. Welcome to another Sagittarius Tarot Reading. Sagittarius Love Tarot Reading. Sagittarius Love Reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Sagittarius channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Let's see what is coming in. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Sag looks like somebody is planning to come in here with some kind of offer. We need to dig in. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy, the Pentacle. That's commitment energy. Next level, what is this? It's coming with the Wheel of Fortune. Really, I like this energy a lot. So a turning point in this connection, Jupiter energy, the planet of expansion and prosperity. One could say luck. I always think of it as timing. So yeah, somebody wasn't ready. Somebody was. Somebody's ready now. Is, is, are you still ready? Let's see. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy coming in. But this is the end of a cycle. It's the completion of a cycle and it's a renewal. Fate, destiny, a new start. It looks like they're going to be reaching out, I feel, or you're going to be hearing something. Let's see what else is coming through. Sagittarius, I'm channeling for you in February 2024, and you could be here in February 2024. You could also be here many months, even years later, and that's because this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here, so welcome again. Temperance and the Six of Pentacles, yeah. So we know some kind of commitment, something around your commitment and offer, it sure looks like, is coming in. We're also seeing the Six of Pentacles of reciprocal energy. And also coming here with the Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus energy is temperance. Archangel Michael, the angel for protection and strength, wanting to light a path to the truth for everybody's highest good. So to get you both on the road to happiness, really. You know, that's going to be, that's going to leave everybody in a good place or heading to a good place. So finally connecting. The renewal is really strong for ending no contact, no communication. Is this also the end of separation? Let's see. Down below, all the cards, usually, that are coming in are linked. You'll also find all the playlists. Of course, Sagittarius, your readings, all 12 zodiac signs as well as all signs, tarot readings, those are love readings for the collective. And if you are on a Twin Flame journey, there are very long, very in-depth Twin Flame readings below, so feel free to explore in the description. Ace of Wands and the Sun Energy, yeah. Most definitely somebody getting inspired to reach out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you're also here, and it's here with the Sun, Leo Energy Source, Definitely the end of a cycle, the completion of a cycle, a renewal. This is literally a new day, a new chance. The crown chakra working things out. The sun, of course, illuminating life force, vitality, showing everything and also coming here and warming up the ground, the pentacles and allowing things to grow again. So somebody is definitely feeling inspired to come in. By somebody, I mean your person. They have that pentacle, and they're also bringing along Archangel Michael from Temperance to work things out, which is your energy, Sagittarius. Restoring balance and harmony, kind of meeting in the middle energy. Sagittarius, this is a general tarot reading, so take what resonates, let the rest go. It won't resonate for everyone. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video. And subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so very much. Let's see what else is going on here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards. Aho.
Wow. So we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. This is definitely a return. Saturn and Pisces energy. And look where their energy is. Wow. So the world is here as well. Yeah, there's something going down here. This is where your person's energy is the strongest. Your specific person, the person you're here for. And it could be that there's somebody popping up and you say, what? <laughs> that you weren't expecting. Because there is that kind of element of surprise, I feel like. But this is where their energy is the strongest. And it's coming in with the Ten of Swords in reverse. The Sun in Gemini. Telling us that the... Sun, which we already saw, is about to come up. It's a new cycle, big time. In fact, they're also coming back here, coming in at the very least, which I really like to apologize. Ask for forgiveness. Wanting to move on from what happened. Wanting to leave the past behind. Is this to come back together or are they just coming in with an apology? I'll tell you, it looks a lot like it's more than an apology. We saw that pentacle coming in. We saw temperance supporting things being balanced out. We also have the queen of pentacles here and the partnership placement. She's kind of like my protege for the empress. You know, new beginnings, matters of the heart and lots of healing energy can make things work that were not working. I mean, and this is around the commitment. And look what is here, right? Where your overall energy is going to go and connected with this renewal and apology with the Ten of Swords and reverses the Death card. This is asking for another chance. They're coming in in a really different vibe. I really like this. It's the death of the ego that I feel they've been in. It's asking for second chance energy. That's the renewal, of course, the snake. Energetic movement, but a shedding of the skin. A snake has to shed its skin. If it doesn't, it won't survive. And we can see here that this is what's going on, of course. This is Scorpio energy, really big changes. Transformational energy. And it's coming here with what is called the nurturer of the coins, which is the queen of pentacles, and as they come back here with the Eight of Cups in reverse, eight is an action number, of course. It's also around some karma. Infinity, truth, balance, renewal. They've learned some kind of lesson here. And look what's coming in in your first placement. It's the world card. Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, and Aquarius energy, which we saw in the Wheel of Fortune. Divine number. Define timing, communication, growth, and this is a completion energy. So ending the cycle for sure. And lessons learned. <laughs> lessons learned here, right? With your person coming back here in the Eight of Cups in reverse. Saturn and Pisces energy. Saturn is the planet of restriction. Structure, rules can slow things down. Obstacles. Also, hand out some life lessons, of course, karma. So something has been karmic debts paid, literally, coming in here with the world card, ending this separation. They have something else on their mind now. One of the goals is to apologize. And they really are coming in here in a sincere way. This is without the ego. It's an, a much higher vibration. It can also be for some of you that there's literal travel, you know, that somebody's traveling and in fact really strong that it, it might even be international travel. That won't be for everyone, but it's a pretty strong energy here, actually. It's the future and it's this person coming back in here. It's a completion picture and it's life changing decisions. Are they making it? Are you going to be making it? I feel like it's more about where it's going to be bringing the both of you. Very strong soulmate energy. And I want to tell you, it may not be for everybody justice. Look at that. Wow, the king of swords. Yeah, the communication. Look, this is, this is a really sincere apology, Sagittarius. There's more to it than that. There's a lot more to it than that. 
And what I was saying when your messages were, when your cards were coming in, is that this can be around marriage. It's not really clear right now, but it is clear that they want to, they've learned some lessons. So something that they've done, they, they've paid their, they've paid or they're paying their dues for it, you know, and they're coming back in here with lessons learned, a lot of humility coming in. Second chance energy is really strong, coming in changed. It's really sincere. This King of Swords, has been thinking for a really long time what they want to say. Gemini energy, Mercury energy, of course, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. Oftentimes around reading and writing, are you normally sending text messages or writing through social media or emails? Then that's probably how they're going to reach out here. If you're normally picking up the phone, for some of you maybe even being able to see each other. However that is, this is how they're coming in. With a, a lot of intention, a lot of strategy around this, like what really sincere, and look what is here, justice. This, this is the karma too. Fate, karmic law, spiritual justice. Libra energy, Venus energy, the planet of love. This is an 11, it's a master number, it's new beginnings. Look what is here. This side is empty and look what is here. It's a heart. It's the truth. It's around matters of the heart. It's love. It's the reciprocal energy coming in here, which we saw in that six of pentacles. Balancing their divine feminine, divine masculine energies. Really strong validation of that also with the eight of cups in reverse. The balance energy here. Truth, renewal, because in order to be clear and honest with another, you need to be clear and honest with yourself. And there is a major transformation going on here around your person's energy. A really sincere apology. The truth, of course, we see that. And this is going to change everything. And very much as we saw with temperance in alignment with Archangel Michael, who was already here supporting the energy of getting everybody on the right path, like a win-win situation for everyone. And this is the decision. And this is coming in here with a really healing energy around new beginnings, making things work. Hey guys, gosh, I don't know when that ended. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss too much. Are they just trying to... Are they just trying to get across an apology? You know, coming in and... And really wanting to make sure you know. Yeah, but it's it's a lot more than that. There's a lot more going on here. The star energy, Aquarius energy, the Hermit energy, the seven of pentacles. There are three here. The page of swords. Wow. The cosmic seed. So this is... A lot of the energy of the star energy, it's the potential. It's the seed of infinite potential. Is that a dandelion that's been blown? Right here in between the world card. Between the world card and the queen of pentacles. Yeah. So they're definitely coming in here with the apology, but they're coming in here with a lot more luck, hoping for this. Hoping you forgive them, because this is a really sincere apology. They have been thinking about this for, I don't know how long it's been, but I tell you, they're also watching you. Page of Swords. Holding on to this truth, right here with justice, which we know is coming. It's like trying to figure it out. It's like a student energy. But we also see this page of swords who's watching and getting ready to act. So whether you're connected in, on social media or through friends and family, we also know that they're, they're planning to get out of that energy, trying to figure it out here because here is the king of swords. And this is yours. There is some kind of, whoa, triggering energy going on here. Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah, we know that there's a really sincere apology in this cup. 
The octopus lives at the bottom of the divine, at the ocean, really at the deepest. This is really deep emotions coming up here with some kind of proposal. It can be marriage. World card, Ace of Cups. Returning here, second chance energy, the star energy. The hope, the clarity, the renewal, a lot, a lot, the cosmic seed, a lot of potential here. At least that's what they're coming in with. There has been a cooling off period, it's really clear. But it's like the stars aligning, which I feel everyone's been waiting for in this hermit energy. So for some of you, yeah, it's getting a little clearer that it could be there is something around a really long-term commitment, including marriage. Is that for everyone? Probably not, but it is here. The Seven of Pentacles is telling me that you have one foot out the door, Venus and Taurus energy. Having put a lot of time into this connection, waiting. You know, assessing the situation, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. And you, everyone has free will, of course. And you do have one foot out the door here. Look, as you wait for this apology, as you wait for communication, for things to align, literally, for them to come here in a higher vibration with this apology, without the ego saying I've changed. So what 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 were they what were they doing? I'm, it's not really clear what they're apologizing about. What is this karma around? It feels like it it's been. It's kind of heavy because it's coming in. They're laying it on really thick that I've had a lot of time to think about this. Virgo and Mercury energy, the hermit card. So it's both a separation here and it's also where they've been to get clarity. Personal truth, spiritual illumination, which is also why their apology is so sincere because they're digging deep in here and maybe there's something they've seen or heard that's triggering them having one foot out the door here because you're literally connected here to the ten of swords in reverse the apology and the king of swords bringing that in and communicating and of course here with the death card with the transformation with this with the changes that are coming here, life-changing decisions here. And the world card, cosmic seed, justice, the star energy, my gosh. Getting out of the Hermit energy and coming in here with this minor arcana energy in the Ace of Cups. But this is some kind of proposal. And again, it, of course it can be marriage here, but it's also some kind of proposal, romantic proposal around love. So is that to talk? Is it to meet? I am seeing, I don't know that this is for everyone, but I've just been shown two people sitting somewhere together. So I know that not everybody can see each other in person, but like kind of across from each other, like at a cafe near a window. That's not for everyone, but that, that belongs to somebody for sure. Because I know that for some of you, there is a strong long distance energy here. And when I talk about no contact, no communication and or in separation, a lot of that is because sometimes, and, and in your case today, there is also a long distance energy. So it's not always going to be the case that you can have this conversation in person. But the end of no contact is really clear, Sagittarius. They have been in deep thought for a while, kind of planning what to say. It feels really big. There are some big changes. They're really wanting to move on from the past. They're saying that they've changed. What the heck did they do? Justice, the world card, eight of cups in reverse. That's an action number. And it's also around some karma, but it's coming back in with lessons learned. And it's a strong validation of that with the world card in the first placement right below it. That's completing like the karmic cycle, whatever it is. That's paid. Timing too. I think it goes way beyond somebody's ready, somebody's not. That did come in and we saw that ace of pentacles coming in. That much is clear. Temperance here, getting everybody on the path to the truth. Justice, the world card, the star card, leading you back to each other, literally. It's, yeah, there's, so there's more than that. This is truth. It's justice. 
because they are, oh, there is a accountability that's being had here. They're taking some accountability. They're saying that they've changed. You're still here in this energy, you know, and you're right in between here, having this hope for renewal, kind of waiting for things to line up, yet still in separation. It's a strong energy of the star and the hermit energy of, of, yeah, the stars now aligning, but the separation here as well, the cooling off period, I should say. And you're right here in between that and the star and the death card, which is things like starting to change, the separation ending, the death of their ego, you know, coming in in a really different vibe, hoping that your heart is still open for them. It's the Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, interesting. Look, connecting to the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in the F right. It's an immature energy, you know, kind of struggling. And it's connecting also to what they're coming in here with. Look, clarity. Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy here with the Dragonfly. Clarity, literally. Potential, beginnings. The sword is transactional. Clarity in relationships, truth, information. It's so strong here. The cosmic seed here in your reading today. This is a 22. And you know what that is? That is a master number and it's a transition energy and it's second chances. It's second chances here with the world card. It's so goosebumpy. The queen of pentacles, justice, new beginnings here. They've paid, there's something here they've done or learned, changed with the eight of cups in reverse coming back in. So that, yeah, clarity about ace of swords, ace of cups, knowing what they need to come in here with, clarity, how they feel deep. Clarity, what they want. Clarity, what they need to do. This is, this is, <laughs> this, this is what we're seeing here. And it's actually wanting to go here. The Four of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse, so it's a little bit of fear. Four of Wands, Venus, and Aries energy. So I'm wondering, it's telling me, and it's actually, this is the energy over here. Kind of cleared the path. I wanted to put the Ace of Swords there, and my guide said, no. <laughs> this needs to be clear, and this is why. Four of Wands coming here in reverse. It's well, the four areas of support and stability, mentally, emotional, physical, and spiritual, you know, and they're holding up, you, you build them around the foundation. So it's both some, something here in the foundation could literally be for those of you that are, look, and we have the Knight of Cups here too. We're going to look at all this in a moment. For those of you that are, that have been in the same house or location, for example, that somebody moved out. You know, that there was some arguing. So it's both a, a kind of like a missing link in the, in the four areas of support, like the foundation was rocked. So, of course, it's validating for that in-person energy. But it's also not going to be for everyone, obviously, that it's in person. And this is also just like, yeah, the leaving of the connection. It's like a door slam in a fight. You know, it could even be, of course, on a phone, although it's not the same. <laughs> on the phones nowadays. But that energy is right here, look, with the Eight of Cups in reverse, with them coming back in. So we know that that Eight of Cups was also in the upright. And it could even have been that there was some kind of an argument at an actual event for some of you when these were in the upright. Because that Eight of Cups is your person when they pulled away, left the connection ghosted you, whatever happened there. And now they're, they're coming back here in reverse. And that's a lot of what this apologetic energy is around. Ending this cycle of no contact. Really coming in here asking for another chance. So we have the Knight of Cups here, the Ace of Cups, the World card. We also have 
the King of Wands that came here in reverse. And that's kind of like a little bit of fear, not feeling as confident, like a little weak is not really the word I like to use, but not feeling so bold, you know? So I'm wondering what exactly happened here. Yeah. So here's the thing for some of you, it, it just whether or not you were in, you were sharing a dwelling together really isn't even the point for me. It definitely could be the case. But the Ten of Cups is coming here in reverse and it came here with the break, kind of the separation breakup energy. And that's Mars and Pisces energy. So it's like a broken connection, broken family whether you had built a life together, built a family together, you were building it or it was on the table, something obviously happened and they regret that. Five of Cups coming with it. Mars and Scorpio energy. This is missing you. This is a lot of regret for, how, for abandoning the connection, abandoning, I'm hearing a conversation for some of you, abandoning you, leaving you feeling like they didn't love you, which we know that there was an abandonment here. Also, I feel like for some things said, and it can be quite literally connected here to the arguing. And in fact, both a fear around bringing this apology, but really sincere, they've been thinking about it for a long time, but it's also connecting to this energy of fear around the Ten of Cups. So was that expanding your family, blending a family, introducing families, taking the next step. You know, it was something I feel like they were also not ready for and afraid, afraid about, and they are deeply regretting it here. It's a lot of regret and they're missing you. It's really connected. And again, for those of you that were in a dwelling or sharing a house or that sort of thing, or maybe even at an event, it's that kind of like, you know, it, um, I want to say, well, yeah, I mean, fighting, what can I say? Discord energy. It's a lonely energy here. And that five of cups, of course. And well, of course, the four of cups are here. It's surprise energy. They're in reverse, which is interesting. So it really is trying to find another way in here. And maybe that's why I feel like it's been kind of a long time. We have two cups here, two cups here as well. It's kind of like they're separated and the two of cups in reverse. <laughs> Venus and Cancer energy is, whoa, it just like fell and was uh, kind of on me and it, and it ended up in reverse. Isn't that interesting? Okay, I'll deliver that message in a moment, but what I wanted to say is that's the separation, the two of cups in reverse, and it can again be around. Hello, that camera makes me crazy. So whether that was in person or on the phone, and then this just fell down and came back here in reverse, and it's really validating with the Ten of Swords and what they have realized. It's, it's really asking for forgiveness here. It's a healing energy coming back in. A really hopeful energy. This is the return energy here. And it just kind of... <laughs> bent it a little bit. Those are the last that are coming in. Bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles in reverse. It's going here for sure. The sun in Virgo energy. Because this is, I feel like, I feel like where things are now, there's like a mending energy on here, a needle, a th I think it's called a thimble. <laughs> you put your, when you're sewing buttons, that sort of thing. And, you know, it's in reverse here. So it's telling me that this still needs to be repaired. It's a healing energy. It's a, you know, if you think of sewing, it's, it's a mending energy. It's mending fences. It's mending the connection. And the Knight of Cups here, the Knight of Cups, the Prince, Princess, Charming Energy, Romantic Proposals, Scorpio and Pluto Energy. We're going to look at these here. I think they were already starting to <laughs> reveal themselves. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, World Card, the Cosmic Seed, the Star Energy. This is definitely not just, this is a really sincere apology. I'll tell you, they're coming in, but they're asking for a second chance and they're bringing an offer here. There's a sword that's been laid down, it looks like. It looks like a sword. I don't even know if it is, but that's how... The message came through. It's a boat. It looks like a boat filled with, with a bouquet. 
reunion energy and offer. I mean, that is the energy. And again, this romantic proposal, marriage energy, clear of what they want, clear of what they need to do, having spent a lot of time thinking, knowing that they completely messed something up here. And coming in in such a different vibe. The apologetic energy is really strong, but it's, it's going. This apology comes definitely with an offer. The nine of coins. Wow, the tower in reverse and the high priestess. Okay. So it's kind of like, this is where I feel like everybody's been. Because this is, on one hand, this is also you doing really, doing okay, doing well. Nine of pentacles. It is a comp Virgo and Mercury energy. It's like a, doing good on your own. And then we go here to the tower in reverse, which is like, kind of a little bit apprehensive, afraid, maybe of being hurt or going, feeling like it's going backwards. And then connecting here to the high priestess energy with really with a decision here that is coming and it feels life-changing. Divine feminine energy, of course, a, a really revealing energy, connecting to your intuition, your gut instincts. These are your guardian angels and Archangel Michael has made themselves clearly available here for you. So this is kind of like, I feel like your energy, seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles, the tower in reverse and the high priestess about kind of a message for you to go in about what do you really want? The owl. So this is a cancer energy, but an owl is a Scorpio. And of course, the guardian of the night connected to the divine, all about inner transformations, self-actualization. They can sometimes hold grudges, <laughs> these owls. So that's interesting. But of course, a lot of wisdom too, you know? And that's a lot of the energy here. Yeah, the pomegranate, prosperity, the snakes, renewal, energetic movement. There's definitely an offer coming in here, whatever this is, to talk again, next level, I'm ready now, and I do feel your apprehension. So what I can say to you is that this, uh, this is coming through for you because it's also a renewed spark energy of trusting yourself about what you want to do here because that tower energy is like fear of change. And the other message that I wanted to send through that it's also your person's energy because they're coming in here with this. You know, this is things coming to fruition. It's the nine of pentacles. It's incoming commitment energy. One pentacle shy, the one you've been waiting for here in the seventh pentacle, commitment or recommitment, whatever that is, long-term commitment. Also, it's telling me here with the tower energy that for some of you, this was around some ace of cups energy of addition to a family or expanding your life or family together. So whether it was blending families, buying a place or moving in together, bringing in life, one could say, whatever that is. That's also been their fear around it. And they're coming out of that energy, also connecting with this intuitive energy of the high priestess and making this decision to come. So you're both, the alignment is really strong, but you're just in different places. But you're still here. You know? And yeah, this is kind of like also not being, having a little bit of trouble being, being honest with yourself for fear. And then the high priestess is here to support that and say, yeah, no, you've got this. And didn't we see that? And was that the page? That was the ace of pentacles coming in with that 10th pentacle too. You know, we know that things have been broken, something going on in the 10 of cups in reverse, but the ace of pentacles bringing that pentacle in, putting us in the 10 of pentacles. They're coming in here really with commitment on their mind, whether it's recommitment, I'm ready now, whatever that is. You got some decisions to make, Sagittarius, and it is life-changing. And sometimes that sounds so dramatic in the world of tarot, but really, and look, it's coming here with the Knight of Cups where it wants to be in the star energy for the renewal. My gosh. And here in between the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. So 
the clarity also for you and the communicative energy, like being ready to communicate. And it, like I was saying, it can sound so dramatic, but it does, whatever decisions are being made here, there is this energy of things really changing where they've been. That's just inevitable as you start to talk and things start to move again. Oracle. And not reading it in reverse at the moment, by the way. I just haven't been feeling it. Blind. I gotta tell you, I was seeing, seeing that, oh my gosh, with drifting. I was seeing that as I was preparing for your reading. And I shuffled more and we shuffled now and there it is again. Also coming here with drifting. So yeah, that has been, a, I feel like, an energy around your person. It's sort of like the two of swords in many ways. You know, being like having the... Uh, and the eight of swords is what I wanted to say. Two of swords too, actually. Two of swords, eight of swords energy. Kind of like not seeing, not really being sure, not, not wanting to see the, you know... Like the fear, because this look at the shadow self kind of here and the thinking, and now we see clarity. Drifting, not really sure of the direction, connected also with the hermit energy. The five of cups came back. It was here in the upright. It came back in the reverse. Really wanting to apologize, asking, literally asking for forgiveness, but also having this clarity of what they want. You. And just the energy, I feel like, of the connection where it's been. You know, this, this boat here in the divine is around where things are going, literally direction, and it's like drifting, you know, here with blind, shadow not seeing. So we know that they were not being honest with themselves, and now they are. But it's also that energy. It's like coming out of that, really, for both of you. Where is this going? The drifting and the blind is also really connecting with that hermit energy, Okay, they're just pushing <laughs> themselves off. That's too many there. That's not. Balance. I really like this. Here in the balance, look, the feet are roots. So going into the ground here, it's justice. It's the world card. It's also even just coming back here in the Eight of Cups in reverse. It's the renewal, it's the aid, it's an action. It's connected to karma, which we know something here has been karmic debts paid, I guess you could say, or paying them. Lessons learned is what's coming from your person. Truth, balance, and renewal. Here with roots, like ready to, like, grounded. Long-term energy. Lots of messages from spirit here. Rising above conflicting energy. Also ascension in the way of lessons learned. And a balancing of the divine feminine and divine masculine energies. In particular, the divine feminine energy of the high priestess coming in, which is a really giving energy. And this is, I'll tell you, it's really clear too, again, that it's a really sincere apology. But it's a lot more. But it's balancing those energies out so they can be truthful and clear with themselves. So they can be truthful and clear with you and come in here in a really different way. Mother. So that's like the Empress energy. And the Queen of Pentacles, where is she? <laughs> she's somewhere here. She's, again, she's kind of like my protege for the Empress. And this Mother energy is the Empress energy. Like, okay, I'm here. Divine number, divine timing can create and grow just about anything, access to all the elements, new beginnings. Also, this is around for some of you, the family energy, the building of the nest that you had done, you were going to do, you were in the process of additions to family, possibly somehow connected to fertility, literally around children. I know that's not for everybody because it's not, it's just not, I know it's not, but this energy here is really strong because she's also, it's a validation of what I've been feeling that they're coming in here with an emotional openness and vulnerability coming in here to be honest, wanting to restart. This is really strong here with this mother energy and the high priestess around timing. Of course, a divine number, divine timing, long-term energy, 
duality, transformational energy. So coming out of that duality. It's neither good or bad, but being able to see things not, you know, so black and white, you know, which I feel like is what they've been in and things are transforming. Look at that. That's the death energy. That's literally them coming in here saying, I really, I've changed. It's lessons learned. It's different. Can I have a second chance? You're my other half. Look, the half of the butterfly is missing. A lot of abundant energy here. Again, of course it's connecting to the death card. You know, really big changes here and moving past everything that happened. The rebirth energy is really strong. And again, what, what do you want to do? Because I can hear what they're telling me. And I see definitely see and feel and hear the apprehension on your side. But this is pretty clear what they're sending through here. And I was trying not to sound like Dr. Seuss, but almost every reading I end up talking like Dr. Seuss. <laughs> Direction. Unfamiliar territory. And humility. Yeah without the ego coming in here with this apologetic energy. So there's a couple of things going on. Well, here's the direction. This is, you put these stones up, you know, for example, here in Austria, sometimes we see them on in the Alps, on trails, off trails, whatever, because you, they, you put them there so you can find your way back. There's a lot of reasons why people do it. And in any case, here for me, this is that. It's like finding your way back. It's like when you've gone out, for example, on a hike, if you think of your journey and you are trying to find your way back and you look for your formations here, that's really clear. You know, we saw that in the balance as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a healing energy. It's restoring harmony. It's really finding your way back to each other. And the potential of the directions you could go right here with the cosmic seed is really, really strong. And it came here with the unfamiliar territory and humility. So coming out of their ego, the apologetic energy is really, really strong. So that unfamiliar territory, fish out of water energy of like, I'm not really sure how to do this kind of maybe it's like not having felt this way before or just doing this in a different way than they've done anything else, a connection, because this is different. It feels really different. And for those of you that are, this is involving some kind of travel, in, in, whether it's international, like immigration energy, or even just moving across town or another state, whatever. This is also that because that comes through in the world card energy as well. It can literally be that that's part of what's been going on here. The completion energy again. So moving, moving back in maybe for some of you, but unfamiliar territory, fish out of water. Like, I don't know. I'm not really sure how to do this, but I want to do this again. It won't be for everyone that it's around travel and moving, you know, but it is here for those of you that need that validation. But here we saw the drifting and it's sort of like, yeah, the, the boat is gone here and they've kind of landed somewhere, if you know what I mean, in their thought process for sure. And yeah, trying to navigate their way through this direction, how to do this. My gosh, Sagittarius. It, it's life-changing again. I know it sounds so dramatic, but it is because something is really about to change here. Whatever direction you're going, you have free will. Your person has free will. Energies, outcomes, they can, they will, and they do change. The future is not fixed. It's a lot of love messages coming in for you. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. I stare into your eyes in photos. That's the page of swords energy. Where did it go? It's here. It's the messenger of swords. Talking to other people, perhaps. If you're connected on social media, I kind of feel like not everybody is. It feels like maybe there's some blocking for someone. Please forgive me. That energy is so strong here today. And it's sincere. I want to be honest. 
justice, transformational energy, missing you. You are my other half energy, you know. And in the process of this transformation, right here in between the death card and then the middle is the duality. Seeing things in a really different way. Transforming, it's actually pointing at the duality card. Do you miss me too? That's all here with the Five of Cups, who we saw in the upright and then who flipped in the reverse. I miss you too. Oh my gosh. Do you miss me too? I miss you too. Sagittarius, I've never felt like this. This energy has been really strong around your person. They, they've just almost unfamiliar territory. That energy came through really strong around both setting the ego aside, but just the feelings. They maybe just weren't expecting it to be so intense, thinking it was just like something else, and it's not. We were destined to meet. That's the Wheel of Fortune energy, which we saw coming in, didn't we? I think of you all the time. There's something here, look, that wants to be shown. Sagittarius, that's your energy. Also Aries and Leo, it's fire. Things moving fast, look like smoke signals too. Yeah, fast energy. A passionate energy too. The energy of love matters of the heart. Also, yeah, kind of like, the, well, the renewal. It's what a fire is. One of many things. I made so many mistakes, speaking of many. Coming here with humility and this hopeful energy and this star. Hoping things are lining up here. being ho liter Literally hoping for this renewal. And being able to end this separation. Do you still love me? I took you for granted. No one compares to you. I'm so sorry I hurt you. It's coming in here with the King of Swords and the High Priestess. Strong intuitive energy, revealing energy here. I tell you that the apology, the sincerity here is really strong. It's it's intense. Like I don't really know the entire backstory of what went on here, but they're coming in here really differently. Do you think of me too? Do you still love me? Do you think of me too? Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. Okay. Obviously telepathic energy here. Do you miss me too? I miss you too. Coming right after, same here. Do you think of me too? I think of you all the time. Beautiful Sagittarius, thank you so very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I really did. It's a very hopeful reading, goosebumpy, and there's some kind of peaceful energy to this. Thank you for joining me. I would be so very grateful if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. It would mean a lot to me watching my videos and liking and sharing, subscribing to the channel helps to keep it moving. So thank you for that. I'm sending you so much love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading.